John Kenneth Galbraith, born in 1908 and died in 2006, was a prominent proponent of 20th century American liberalism who served in the capacities of economist, author, professor, and diplomat. He wrote four dozen books, including several novels, and published more than a thousand articles and essays on various subjects. In academia, he was a longtime faculty member at Harvard University, spending nearly 50 years as a professor of economics. He began his political career spanning several presidential administrations, with that of Franklin Roosevelt, where he worked within the Department of Agriculture during the New Deal to help plan the recovery of the United States from the Great Depression of the 1930s. In his 1955 book, The Great Crash, 1929, he details the human experience in the events leading up to the 1929 stock market crash and the ensuing economic depression of the 1930s. I came across this particular passage by random chance not long after the stock and commodity market crashes of 2008-2009. Galbraith very accurately describes the sequence of events that occur after a market driven by widespread optimism reaches its top and moving with the same intense energy that drove prices upwards, undergoes a sudden reversal, manifesting into a breathtaking fall and the ensuing malaise. A more recent example of this can be seen with the 2017 crash and ensuing bear market of 2018-2019 in cryptocurrencies. The worst continued to worsen. What looked one day like the end proved on the next day to have been only the beginning. Nothing could have been more ingeniously designed to maximize the suffering and also to ensure that as few people as possible escape the common misfortune. The fortunate speculator who had funds to answer the first margin call presently got another and equally urgent one, and if he met that, there would still be another. In the end, all the money he had was extracted from him and lost. The man with the smart money, who was safely out of the market when the first crash came, naturally went back in to pick up bargains. The bargains then suffered a ruinous fall. Even the man who waited for volume of trading to return to normal and saw Wall Street become as placid as a produce market and who then bought common stocks would see their value drop to a third or a fourth of the purchase price in the next 24 months. The Coolidge bull market was a remarkable phenomenon. The ruthlessness of its liquidation was, in its own way, equally remarkable. Thanks for watching this installment of The Chronicler's Tale. Be sure to like and subscribe to be notified of new content. You can also follow the channel on the social media platforms listed in the video notes below. Enjoy, and be well everyone. Talk to you soon.